they're actually kind of pretty type of cichlid they're pretty invasive in like florida and other areas uh that are warmer but we don't have any out here and uh weather's starting to get nice out here ponds are starting to heat up so you can see i have three four five right there i'm gonna have a few more but the big thing today is we're moving our tilapia to this IBC tote that's been cut off. And you can see them all in there, there's a ton of them. And these are food grade tilapia. And so what we're gonna do is try to get an aquaponic system going with these guys. So I'm gonna have them grow in here for a little while while I get the aquaponic system set up. But you can see they're quite big. I got them about that big, little fry size. So let's get a little bit of water to acclimate them a bit let them chill for a little while and they're probably going to start jumping and everything um but yeah these guys have been growing for the last few months growing pretty quickly i think i have a handful more and then we will toss them in so stand by for 15. all right so it's been about 15 minutes now let's see if i could get one of these guys they're actually kind of pretty these are um, a strain that are meant to grow quickly, and they are a Blue Nile, cold hardy. And if you didn't know, tilapia are a type of cichlid. They're pretty invasive in like Florida and other areas uh, that are warmer, but we don't have any out here up in the PNW. Let me see that one. That guy's pretty cool looking. Yeah. That, that's a bigger one right there. And these are mouth brooders. So when they have babies, they hold them in their mouth, the eggs in the mouth, and they wait until they hatch. Um, but yeah, let's not stress them out anymore. Let's get one more to check out, and then we will, these are some of the smaller ones. All right, let's see them go. Grab that blue, that's a, All right, now they are, they have about 175 gallons to swim. They grew out in a 30 gallon. Um, so yeah, right now I have this tank, this IBC tote that was cut in half, a little bit less than half, or more than half, uh, about 175, 200 gallons. I have a huge, that's like a 300 gallon pump, um, sponge filter. And then I have this own custom made kind of uh, 10 gallon sump that has a ton of media in there and just helps clean up the water. So yeah, these guys are gonna be living good for a while and we're gonna get the aquaponics system going. And yeah, be sure to like, subscribe and ring that bell so you get notifications and you can see what's going on with the tilapia, aquaponics system, everything here on the fish farm slash quail and pheasant farm it's gonna be fun you guys will enjoy it all right